Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to add a boop to your avatar. So this will come in multiple steps. The first step will be adding the actual collider to the nose. The next step will be making our animation of what we want to play when we are booped. And the third step will be the uh, creation of the interaction and proving that it works by doing so. So to start off, I'm going to create one empty object, and I'm going to call this object boop and I'm going to make sure that it is under my current avatar's hierarchy right here. Now I want to add component and when you type in VRC, there should be VRC contact receiver. And this is what we're going to use. Now, when this is in here, what we're going to do is where it says root transformation, we're going to want to pick the root and for the boop, obviously we'd want it to be the head. So we're going to go over here, armature, hips, spine, chest, neck, head, and right here on this head, we're going to drag it over, and now we uh, will have it on the head. Now, as you can see, it is quite large, and this is not what we want, so this is where we're going to be tweaking a bit. So I found that, for this avatar at least, I kind of want to do 001, like that, and they'll be super small, and we also don't want it in the neck, so what I'm going to try to do is locate it over here, so I'm going to do the Y value, and I'm going to do like 001, 2, 3... I'm going to try 3.8. 3.8 looks about right. And for the Z, we're going to do the exact same thing. So 0.0.1. Maybe go a bit. Oh, there we go. Now, it is almost right where we want it. Uh, I'm going to put maybe another 1 there. Oops. Put a 1. There we go. So that's kind of where I want this boop to be. Now, our next step will be making the um, actual parameter. So inside of your hierarchy here, you click here, you go down to your VRC avatar descriptor, and then at the expressions tab, there should be a thing called parameters, double click, open it up, make, uh, press add, and then here, we're gonna call it boop, and we're gonna make sure this is set to a float, uh, not an int or bool, it has to be a float. Now we head back over to the boop, and where it says parameter, we're going to put in a uh, boop. So now it is linked to the boop parameter and we want to make sure that there is going to be collisions. So these collision tags are going to be what can boop you. So personally, I'm going to pick foot collider, finger collider, and hand collider. So people's feet, fingers, and hands can boop this and uh, trigger the animation. So the next step will be creating the animation. So what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to record, uh, I'm going to make it brand new and I'm going to call it boop on and then I'm going to click the record and for this I'm going to go over to my avatar's body and go to the skinned, resh render, uh, uh, skinned mesh render and then under blend shapes I'm going to find the um, eyes happy. So this one the eyes will be closed when the boop happens. And then I'm going to create another one. I'm going to call it boop off. And this time I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to put it to zero here. Now, once that is done, I can go into the animator and I go into the parameters of the animator, press plus. I go to f uh, create a new float and I'm going to call it boop. This has to match the name that we made earlier, uh, one to one. And so now in layers, I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to call this boop animation. I'm going to put the weight all the way up. And now what we are going to do is we're going to create three different states. So we're going to have an empty, non-empty, and then a normal state. So this I'm going to rename to empty. This will be our empty state. Uh, I'll explain a bit later why this is necessary. And then we're going to create this one. This one is going to be called on, or uh, I guess you could call boop activated. And that will be the name of that one. And this one will be boop deactivated. So I'm going to make a transition down to boop activated, transition to boop deactivated, and then transition to exit state. So now that we have these two animations, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag boop on over here. And same thing with this one. I'm going to click over here and drag boop off over here. Now we're going to click on this arrow here 
we're going to make a condition and we're going to call it boop and we're going to make it greater than 0.1. So basically when something gets within 0.1 of the proximity, it will trigger the boop activated, which will be our boop animation. And now over here, what we're going to do is when boop is less than 0.1. So when it is away from the face, then we're going to deactivate it. Same thing here. We're going to do the exact same. So boop less than 0.1 enter. And then for all three of these, personally, I just like to turn the exit time off so that you can spam it. Say if you wanted to put an audio on the boop animation, then you could spam the boop audio. Uh, but this is not necessary. This will change. Uh, so like for this avatar, when I boop, it's going to be instant and there won't be any smooth animation. So if you'd prefer a smooth animation, then I would suggest tweaking with these times a little bit. Anyways, now to test if this all worked, I'm going to create an empty object. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put the VRC contact sender and it's going to be this little ball here. And I'm going to add collision tags. So I'm going to put hand, foot, and finger. This is only for testing. You don't need to do this part. Anyways, now before pressing play here, um, we're going to quickly go back to our animator. And in this very first one up here, yours may be named different, but there may be uh, a chance that your animations you created earlier end up in here. And this will cause your avatar to be constantly in the boop on animation. And that's not what we want. So it's completely safe, but go here and you can just delete these. They are still here down in the project, as you can see. They are just no longer always on in this certain animation. And so now if we go here, we click play and we wait for it to load. And then we go over to this object and we go over and boop. As you can see, when it collides with the nose, the boop animation plays. Now, if any time you can go back into the avatar, you can go over down here open this back up and go to the boop on animation and you could add more stuff. Say like you wanted something to toggle on or off. You would just record that in here and you could do that too. So like you wanted to play little audio when you're booped or whatnot, or you want to make little heart particles, you would just add that right here and that's how you would go about it. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped and I hope you have a good rest of your day.